Yashar Jasher 83. And in the twelfth month, in the twenty-third day of the month, Moshe took Aharon and his sons, and he dressed them in their garments, and anointed them, and did unto them as Yahuwah had commanded him. And Moshe brought up all the offerings which Yahuwah had on that day commanded him. And Moshe afterward took Ahran and his sons and said to them, For seven days shall you remain at the door of the tabernacle, for thus am I commanded. And Ahran and his sons did all that Yahuwah had commanded them through Moshe. And they remained for seven days at the door of the tabernacle. And on the eighth day, being the first day of the first month, in the second year from Yashara'el's departure from Mitzrayim, Moshe erected the sanctuary, and Moshe put up all the furniture of the tabernacle and all the furniture of the sanctuary, and he did all that Yahuwah had commanded him. And Moshe called to Aharon and his sons, and they brought the burnt offering and the sin offering for themselves and the children of Yashara'el, as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. On that day, the two sons of Aharon, Nadav and Avihu, took strange fire and brought it before Yahuwah, who had not commanded them. And a fire went forth from before Yahuwah and consumed them, and they died before Yahuwah on that day. Then, on the day when Moshe had completed to erect the sanctuary, the princes of the children of Yashara'el began to bring their offerings before Yahuwah for the dedication of the altar. And they brought up their offerings, each prince for one day, a prince each day for twelve days. And all the offerings which they brought, each man in his day, one silver charger, weighing 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one spoon, weighing 10 shekels of gold, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of a year old. Thus did the twelve princes of Yashara'el, day by day, each man in his day. And it was after this, in the thirteenth day of the month, that Moshe commanded the children of Yashara'el to observe the Pichach. And the children of Yashara'el kept the Pichach in its season in the fourteenth day of the month as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe, so did the children of Yashara'el. And in the second month, on the first day thereof, Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Number the heads of all the males of the children of Yashara'el, from twenty years old and upward, 
you and your brother Aharan and the twelve princes of Yasharael. And Moshe did so. And Aharan came with the twelve princes of Yasharael. And they numbered the children of Yasharael in the wilderness of Sinai. And the numbers of the children of Yasharael by the houses of their fathers from 20 years old and upward were 603,550. But the children of Levi were not numbered amongst their brethren, the children of Yasharael. And the number of all the males of the children of Yasharael from one month old and upward was 22,273. And the number of the children of Levi from one month old and above was 22,000. And Moshe placed the priests and the Leviim, each man to his service and to his burden, to serve the sanctuary of the tabernacle, as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And on the twentieth day of the month, the cloud was taken away from the tabernacle of testimony. At that time, the children of Yasharael continued their journey from the wilderness of Sinai, and they took a journey of three days. And the cloud rested upon the wilderness of Paran. There, the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yasharael, for they had provoked Yahuwah in asking him for meat, that they might eat. And Yahuwah hearkened to their voice and gave them meat, which they ate for one month. But after this, the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against them, and he smote them with a great slaughter, and they were buried there in that place. And the children of Yasharael called that place Kivrat Hat Ta'ava, because there they buried the people that lusted flesh. And they departed from Kivrat Hat Ta'ava and pitched in Chatesrat, which is in the wilderness of Paran. And while the children of Yasharael were in Chatesrat, the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Miriam on account of Moshe, and she became leprous, white as snow. And she was confined without the camp for seven days until she had been received again after her leprosy. The children of Yasharael afterward departed from Chatesrot and pitched in the end of the wilderness of Paran. At that time, Yahuwah spoke to Moshe to send twelve men from the children of Yasharael one man to a tribe to go and explore the land of Canaan. And Moshe sent the twelve men, and they came to the land of Canaan to search and examine it. And they explored the whole land from the wilderness of Sein to Rechov, as you come to Chamoth. And at the end of forty days, they came to Moshe and Aharon, and they brought him word as it was in their hearts. And ten of the men brought up an evil report to the children of Yasharael, of the land which they had explored, saying, 
It is better for us to return to Mitzrayim than to go to this land, a land that consumes its inhabitants. Rather, inhabitants. But Yahusha, the son of Nun, and Kelev, the son of Yafna'ah, who were of those that explored the land, said, The land is exceedingly good. If Yahuwah delight in us, then he will bring us to this land and give it to us, for it is a land flowing with milk and honey. But the children of Yashar'el would not hearken to them, and they hearkened to the words of the ten men who had brought up an evil report of the land. And Yahuwah heard the murmurings of the children of Yashar'el, and he was angry and swore, saying, Surely not one man of this wicked generation shall see the land from twenty years old and upward, excepting Kelev, the son of Yafna'ah, and Yahusha, the son of Nun. But surely this wicked generation shall perish in this wilderness, and their children shall come to the land, and they shall possess it. So the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yashar'el, and he made them wander in the wilderness for forty years until the end of that wicked generation, because they did not follow Yahuwah. And the people dwelt in the wilderness of Paran a long time, and they afterward proceeded to the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea.